Slide 1. Welcome to Health Management Information Systems, Administrative, Billing, and Financial Systems. This is Lecture B. The component, Health Management Information Systems, is a theory component that provides an introduction to healthcare applications and the systems that use them, health information technology standards, health-related data structures, and enterprise architecture in healthcare organizations. Lecture B defines a Master Patient Index, or MPI, and describes its core elements and discusses current trends to establish a unique patient identifier. Slide 2. The objectives for this unit, Administrative, Billing, and Financial Systems, are to explain applications that need to be integrated in healthcare information systems. Describe the strategies used by healthcare organizations to ensure integration of functions. Discuss the critical elements needed to integrate billing, financial, and clinical systems. Slide 3. Additional objectives for this unit, administrative, billing, and financial systems, are to discuss the core elements of a master patient index, MPI, and describe current trends to establish a unique patient identifier. UPI. Slide 4. As was explained in Lecture A, patient management and billing systems are systems that support the management of the patient. An example would be the patient identification functionality and the supporting technology and master patient index. The master patient index contains information about the patients. Slide 5. What is the master patient index and why is it so essential? The Healthcare Information Management and System Society, HIMSS, 2010, explains why the Master Patient Index is essential. Quote, the MPI is important because it serves as the centerpiece for all subsequent functionality and software applications, such as links to the patient clinical record, the patient schedule for appointments, reporting lab, x-ray, pharmacy, patient-related images, etc. End quote. Page 77. Slide 6. AHIMA 2012 defines a master patient index as, quote, a patient identifying directory referencing all patients related to an organization and which also serves as a link to the patient record or information, facilitates patient identification, and assists in maintaining a longitudinal patient record from birth to death, end quote. Page 210. Slide 7. AHIMA 2010A, September, notes that one of a healthcare organization's most important resources is the MPI, as it provides the link to access patient health information across all care settings. The AHIMA 2010A, September, practice brief lists the following reasons why. Quote, provides the index, location of, and access to a patient's EHR in an enterprise facilitates interoperability and the accurate creation of a longitudinal record for a patient by linking records across multiple clinical systems, facilities, and provider EHRs, and ensures accurate and complete linking of EHRs for health information exchange across participating organizations, including healthcare organizations, reference labs, registries, pharmacies, and public health databases. End quote. Paragraph 3. Slide 8. Additional reasons the MPI is one of a healthcare organization's most important resources, stated by AHIMA 2010A, September, include, quote, establishes a streamlined governance process supported by data management strategies that will ensure the accuracy of data models, stewardship, policies, and procedures, and accurately matches persons being registered for care with their existing medical records thus minimizing duplicate records within a facility and across patient care settings. End quote. Paragraph 3. Slide 9. AHIMA 2010-B, September, defined the core elements as follows. Internal patient identification. Primary identifier used by the facility to identify the patient at admission, for example, the medical record number. Person name legal name of patient or person, including surname, given name, middle name or initial, suffixes, for example, junior, fourth, and prefixes, 
For example, father, doctor. Date of birth, year, month, and day of birth. For example, yyyy slash mm slash dd. Gender, for example, male, female, unknown, or undetermined. Race. Race is a concept used to differentiate population groups largely on the basis of physical characteristics transmitted by descent. Races currently used by the federal government for statistical purposes are American Indian or Alaskan Native, Asian or Pacific Islander, Black, White, Unknown, Other, and Missing. Ethnicity. Ethnicity is a concept used to differentiate population groups on the basis of shared cultural characteristics or geographic origins. Ethnic designations currently used by the federal government for statistical purposes are Hispanic origin, not of Hispanic origin, and unknown, other, and missing. Slide 10. More core elements of an MPI according to AHIMA 2010-B September are Address. Address or location of patient's residence. Components include the street address, other designation, for example, apartment number, city, state, province, zip or postal code, country, and type of address, for example, permanent, mailing. Telephone number. Telephone number at which that patient can be contacted. This may be a home or business telephone number or the telephone number of a friend, neighbor, or relative alias, previous, maiden names, any names by which the patient has been known other than the current legal name, including nicknames, maiden name, previous name that was legally changed, etc. All previous names available should be converted and retained. Social Security Number, personal identification number assigned by the U.S. Social Security Administration. Facility Identification, the unique identification number of a facility where patients seek care. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, has developed a provider ID system for healthcare facilities. Universal Patient Identifier, not yet established. Account Visit Number, number assigned by the facility billing or accounting office for all charges and payments for this encounter or visit. Slide 11. The final core elements of an MPI per AHIMA 2010-B September are Admission and Counter Visit Date Date that the patient actually arrived for care, for example, YYYY-MM-DD-HH-SS Discharge or Departure Date Date the patient actually left the facility or died, for example, YYYY slash MM slash DD slash HH slash SS. Encounter service type. Categorization of the encounter, such as emergency, inpatient, outpatient, home care, or electronic. For example, email, internet, telemedicine. Encounter service location. Location in which the encounter, visit, or treatment occurred. Encounter primary physician, attending physician for the associated encounter, visit or treatment, identified with the primary physician's national provider identifier. Patient disposition, patient's intended care setting after discharge. Examples include discharge to home, not to home health service, acute care hospital, nursing facility, home to be under the care of a home health service or other health care facility, Left against medical advice, AMA, alive, other, or not stated. Died, admitted to hospital, admitted for observation. Transferred to skilled nursing facility, intermediate care facility, or other facility. Or other disposition as dictated by type of MPI. Slide 12. While listed as one of the core elements of an MPI, it is noted that a UPI has not yet been established. The AHIMA 2012 definition of this core element is, quote, a personal identifier applied to a patient such as a number or code that is used permanently for many and varied purposes, end quote, page 350. 
The core health data elements published by the National Committee on Vital Health Statistics, NCVHS, also includes the use of a UPI. In addition, the 1996 Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, mandated UPI systems, but security concerns have stalled those efforts. Consequently, the UPI, as already noted, has not yet come to fruition. NCVHS 1997 broke the term Unique Patient Identifier down into individual components and then summarized the results in a definition that states, quote, the identity of an individual consists of a set of personal characters by which that individual can be recognized. Identification is the proof of one's identity. Identifier verifies the sameness of one's identity. Patient identifier is the value assigned to an individual to facilitate positive identification of that individual for health care purposes. Unique patient identifier is the value permanently assigned to an individual for identification purposes and is unique across the entire national health care system. Unique patient identifier is not shared with any other individual. End quote. Paragraph 7. Possible benefits of a UPI include the potential to assure prompt access to health care information, timely delivery of care, linkage of lifelong health records of individuals, and aggregation of health information for analysis and research. NCVHS 1997. Slide 13. The four basic functions that a UPI must support according to NCVHS 1997 are quote, identification of an individual for the purposes of delivery of care, diagnosis, treatment, blood transfusion, medication, etc., and for administrative functions, for example, eligibility, reimbursement, billing, payment, etc. Identification of information, identification and access to patient information for prompt delivery of care during current encounter coordination of multidisciplinary patient care services and communication of orders, results, supplies, etc. Organization of patient care information into a manual medical record chart or an automated electronic medical record for both current and future use. Manual and automated linkage of various clinical records pertaining to a patient from different practitioners sites of care and times to form a lifelong view of the patient's record and facilitate the continuity of care in future, and aggregation of information across institutional boundaries for population-based research and planning. Accurate identification functions to provide timely access to patient care information, and de-identification functions to support the protection of security, privacy, and confidentiality of patient information. Reduce healthcare operational cost and enhance the health status of the nation by supporting both automated and manual patient record management, access to care and information sharing. End quote. Paragraph 8. Slide 14. Most agree that unique identification numbers are needed for patients, but there is no consensus on the method of identification. HIPAA regulations require unique identification numbers that can be used across information systems, although an individual patient identifier, UPI, has not been adopted due to a number of factors, specifically privacy and security concerns. As a result of a Health Information Technology Policy Committee, HITSC, request to the Health Information Technology Standards Committee, several power teams were formed to come up with recommended standards. One team, the Patient Matching Power Team, was responsible for providing best practice guidance for use of demographics in machine-to-machine -machine matching of patient identifiers. This team made four recommendations related to patient attributes that could be used for matching, quality of the data, formats for these data elements, and what data are returned from a match request, HITSC 2011. Potential patient matching attributes were examined by the patient matching power team and they concluded, quote, having a common base set of patient attributes across entities that are matching patients is important if the entities are going to achieve an acceptable level of sensitivity and specificity, end quote, HITSC 2011, page 2. Slide 15. 
This concludes administrative, billing, and financial systems. Lecture A examined the relationship of administrative, billing, and financial systems to the healthcare information system, explained applications that need to be integrated in healthcare information systems, explored healthcare organizations' integration strategies, identified the critical elements for integration of these systems with clinical information systems, and discussed how healthcare organizations may gain valuable insights from integrated data through data analytics and trending. Lecture B defined a Master Patient Index, or MPI, and described its core elements and discussed current trends to establish a unique patient identifier.